I'm lost. I'm lost. What's up, everybody? Chris Goff here, and today we're going to talk about ways to get back on track when you lost your way. Let's get to it. Make sure you watch the full video to get the full effect. All these things tie together, so if you really want to get the full benefit of the video, make sure you watch the full video, and also make sure you take action, because you can't change anything in your life if you don't actually take action. This video is for people who have lost their way and they want to get back on track. So I want to say I'm not a doctor, so if you are depressed and you need help, you need to seek professional help. I'm not a doctor. These are just some tips that I have in order to help you get back on track if you feel like you're just lost in life. I want you to know that you're not alone. We, we all have stress in our lives. We all have bad days. We all have negative and sad thoughts. All this stuff is not just you. This is everybody in the world is going to have it no matter who you are. You could be the richest actor in the world and you're still going to have these thoughts at times that you just, you're just not going to feel good about yourself. And so how do we go about getting it back so that we are more positive and feeling good and getting back on track and getting those to those goals that we want in life. Well, here's some tips. First, just to know that happiness is not what happens to us. Th events are going to happen to us, and but it's not really those events that determine if we're happy or if we're not happy. It's really how we react to those events. You hear that saying, look on the bright side of life or the bright side of, of events. If you could try to do that more than not, then you're going to be happy most of the time. So just know that even though things happen in your life, there's always some good that could come out of it. And I understand that you're not going to feel that way at the time, but here are some tips to help you get back on track when life starts to throw you curveballs and tries to derail you. The first thing is to find out what you truly want in life and go after it. Don't do what others may want you to do or what you think other people may want you to do, do what you want to do. So when you're pondering what you really truly want out of life, you should do it alone. You should not ask advice of anybody else because if you ask advice of anybody else, no matter how good of a friend or family member they are, and I, I'm not saying anything bad, they all mean well, but the thing is they're always going to give you what they think either you should do or what they would like to do. So if you're really looking for what you really want out of life, you got to ponder this by yourself and it might it's hard work but you just write down your thoughts and think about what is it you truly want in life and then you go after it so once you find out what you really want then you want to set goals and you want to make them short term and long term specifically you want the long term there but then you need the short term to help build you like steps going up the steps you know here's your long term goal and here are the short term steps to get there and that's what you want to do and once you have that you want to have a strong why why is it that I want to do this why is it that I want this like for instance I want to have a million subscriber YouTube channel someday. I really, I, I, and the reason why is because I want to help people with what I know. I've lived a long time. I'm over 60 years old and I have stuff that I want to share now and I have the time now to be able to do that because I don't have to work other than doing this. And so that's, that's what I want to do. And so I really want to get some of my knowledge out there and it's, it's really important to me. So that's why I work on it so much. So whatever it is that you have, if it's if it's losing weight, I want to lose weight. The why could be because I want to be there for family members and I want to be healthy for them. And so that is an awesome why. So you want to have a strong why. So what you want to do is put sticky notes with your why on it all around places that you may be tempted to be derailed from what you're trying to go after. So for instance, for me, I want to grow my YouTube channel. I want to put out a, a video every week. That's my goal. And so I put that on my computer and on my TV. So if I start to watch TV or to play computer games or do something that actually is not going to benefit getting these videos done, I see that the sticky note and I say to myself, oh yeah, that's right. I have to get my videos done. So I, I'm not going to do this because that's my why is I want to share my knowledge with the world. The same thing can go if you want to lose weight. So if you want to be there for your family and be able to help them, you have to be healthy. So you could put that on your stickers and you can put them all over pantry and refrigerator and everything. And that way when you see it, you'll know not to grab the Captain Crunch. And the other thing about, the great thing about having goals in life 
and direction is it really gives you purpose in life and that will help you get back on track and if you have no purpose in life you're just going to wander around aimlessly off track so if you want to get back on track make sure you have those goals in place make sure you have your strong why make sure you have those stickers around and then that will keep you on track the next tip is to realize that you only live once and you hear that saying yolo you only live once and so you don't want to waste it and I, I mean life is a precious gift and when you see that you're very unique you, there's no one like you and you beat these astronomical odds just to be here and if you think about how the planet had to evolve and then people certain people had to be born and then get together at certain times it's at exactly the right time for you to be born and science has come up that it's this astronomical it's like at least one in four trillion maybe one in four quadrillion and basically what they're saying is that it is incredibly in like, unlikely that you were going to be born you personally so if you think about that it was it's a tremendous gift and so you don't want to waste that gift so what you don't want to do is you don't want to have regrets on your deathbed and what I mean by that is Let's say you always want to open up a business or write that novel or travel to Paris. And let's say you never did it and now you're 90 years old and you're on your deathbed. You're going to have regrets and you don't want to have regrets in life again. You only live once. You get one shot at this. So just go for it and that's how you're going to be on track is just knowing that. And when you know that, then you know that you don't have that second chance. It's going to get you back on track and it's going to get you to achieve those goals. The next tip is to know that everyone has good and bad days and you are not alone. And what you have to do is just do your best to get past the bad days and know that there's always tomorrow and that there's going to be good days right along the way. And what you don't want to do is compare yourself to others, especially on social media, because people only tend to put the best stuff of their lives on social media. So everyone thinks, oh wow, so-and-so is just doing all this great stuff. But if you really look back at your life, you're doing a lot of great stuff too. They're not going to put the mundane, oh, I just downed a cup of coffee on my drive into work, and then I worked for eight hours or nine hours, and then I drove back, and then I fell asleep because I'm so tired. They're not going to put that on Facebook or whatever social media outlook that, that you use. They're going to put only like, oh, I want on vacation to Tanzania and it was fabulous. That's what they're going to put on Facebook. So don't compare yourself to that. And then what you should do is actually feel good for them, feel happy for them. If Mary gets a PhD in astrophysics, be happy for them. And don't sit there and say, wow, I don't have a PhD in astrophysics. I feel kind of bad. Don't do that. Just feel happy for her. You might not even like astrophysics. Now, I, I know that I would never get a PhD in that because it's just over, above me in that sense. And that's okay. I'm going to do other things. And that's what you need to do. And just know that the more positivity you put out in the world, the more positivity is going to come back. And if you put negativity out in the world, well, I just wouldn't do that. <laughs> The next tip is to consume positive material every day. This is very easy now. I mean, you can do it through books or audiobooks too, if you don't like reading. There's videos, there's podcasts. I mean, there's all sorts of things that are out there to get positivity in. And if you can get like 10 to 30 minutes of that in a day, you're doing awesome. And that's all you need to do. If 10 minutes is all you can do, I mean, that's fine. That's great. That's awesome. It's better than a lot of people do. And what you want to do is just stay away from negative people and the negative news. There's a lot of negativity in the news. You hear me say that a lot. And also you want to stay away from negative people because what you do is you become the five people that the closest people that are around you so you have to look at those five people that you're around and you've got to see is, are they positive or are they negative and, and if, do you want to be like them you have to ask yourself that question and if the answer is no I don't want to have all this negativity in my life because the people around me are all negative then you have to make some very hard decisions to change the pool of people that you hang out with and make sure that they're positive so the next tip I have is to be curious and explore life and for me that's travel I would recommend traveling for everybody it's just an awesome thing to do and it doesn't have to be really extravagant you don't have to go flying off to Italy or anything like that but although that doesn't hurt I, I that's what I'm gonna be doing this summer so uh, and I'm bouncing around all of Europe so I, I'm gonna be doing that but you don't have to do that it could even be stuff that's around where you live 
I, I'm lucky I live near the beach so I can head out by the beach but there's also other places like I used to live in Maryland where the beach wasn't there but there were lakes and there were all sorts of things that I can go to and hiking trails and biking and just getting outside and taking in the world regardless where you are is always going to be something that you should do and just being curious taking that time out from your normal day and going out and exploring new things is always going to help you get back on track if you're feeling lost because it's just going to clear your mind and it's going to get you to be able to be focused when you come back and it also what i would suggest is with this being curious and exploring life is to get out of your comfort zone and i know that it could be uncomfortable because obviously that makes sense but it could also be invigorating and educational because believe me if once you get out of your comfort zone you are going to learn new things and so that's what you want to do you just want to get out and just change it up a bit and it's gonna help you actually, I know it sounds funny, but it will get you back on track. And the last tip I have, and I say this all the time too, is to exercise every day, or at least be active every day. And 30 minutes is all you need. You don't need to put in hours and hours and hours in the gym. You can just get outside and walk, or you can run, you can bike. There's a lot of things that you can do. I would mix it up a bit just for health reasons and also to stop you from being so bored if you're doing the same thing all the time because it could get boring if you're just doing the same routine over and over again. And exercising every day also gives you this sense of accomplishment. It also reduces depression, increases positive mood, and this is actually something that scientists have studied that exercise actually moves the blood around, gets oxygen in your body, clears the brain, and helps you get back on track. And so it's something that I really do recommend. And that's all I had for the video. I wanna thank you for watching it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And if you know anybody who can use videos like this, make sure you share the channel and the video with them. And for more tips, two videos are gonna pop up any moment. You can click on any of those videos and you can continue your happy, healthy living journey. And I will see you all next time.